a popka. We never talk about a popka on this channel. And you might be asking yourself, why? Why, Kathy? Why are we not ever talking about a popka? You've got all these videos, Kathy. The top five suburbs of Orlando or the top seven suburbs of Orlando. But where is a popka? It's never on that list. So I thought today I better just go ahead and bring out some of popka. So that's what we're going to talk about and we're going to start right now. Hi there, what is up? I'm Kathy Williams, your friend in real estate here in Orlando, and thank you for joining me today. I just wanted to give you a little more information about Apopka, suburb of Orlando. And before we get started, go ahead and smash that like button, and it just helps me with the YouTube algorithms a bunch. And then also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? You know, go ahead and just dive right in. You won't miss any of my videos that way, and you'll just know more about the Orlando area. You can be just as informative and informed as anybody in the world. I stand accused here. I do not talk about Apopka in any of my videos. And Apopka is a large, very large suburb of Orlando. It's just north of Orlando. It borders Altamont Springs and Longwood. It's about 10, 15 minutes from Winter Garden, and it's about 35 minutes from downtown Orlando. It's gonna be about 45 minutes to an hour to Disney. So you may be saying, well, Kathy, that's such a great location. And there's, let me tell you, to Apopka, there are tons of great roads to get to Apopka. But I just never think about Apopka. And before we go any further, also you should know that Apopka is known as the indoor foliage capital of the world. And if you drive through Apopka, you're gonna see all these greenhouses where they're growing indoor foliage. So if you've bought a plant recently, it likely came from Apopka, Florida. Just turn the pot over and check the label. You know, it probably was grown there. And it's a very old, old city in Orlando. I mean, it's been around for a long time, since the turn of the century. One of their claims to fame, I believe, is that they had the longest running mayor of any American city in the history of the United States. I think he was mayor of Apopka for like 30 years. I mean, just a very beloved character. And the thing that I love most about Apopka is Kelly Park or Rock Springs. And that is a really neat place. I used to take my kids there all the time when they were little. It's a natural spring in Apopka where you can rent an inner tube or bring your own tube and you can start at the spring head and float all the way down and it's probably about a 25-30 minute float all the way to the bottom then you can walk back up and do the same thing over and over again all day and it's just a beautiful day the, the water is crystal clear and beautiful and it's just it's a great great day in the park if you will but really that's all I would ever go to a popka for there was never any other reason for me to go to a popka you might be asking yourself well Kathy why did you not include it in the top suburbs because I have several videos as you know about the top suburbs of Orlando so you know I've got videos out there about suburbs but Apopka is never mentioned so you might be kind of like well Kathy what's up with that and all I can say is that it's just never been on my radar that much until recently and so I've sold a few houses up there recently and I have friends that live up there so I've been visiting more frequently so I did go and look with some clients this week at some new construction and one of the communities that I had actually seen earlier this year it's a Taylor Morrison community called Lakeside, and it's a nice community that I love, Taylor Morrison Homes. They do a great job on their construction. And then the other neighborhood that I think is really nice up there is called the Oaks at Kelly Park. And I was really taken aback at how nice this neighborhood was and this area of Apopka. So it's right off the expressway, and it's kind of a new, it's all very rural right now, but there are lots of plans for that area. So, you know, if you could give it four or five years, it's going to be just humming right along with plenty of you know restaurants shopping dining but right now they have a brand new public shopping center just up the street from this community and then they're building a brand new k through eight about seven tenths of a mile from the community so it's really going to be a nice area and the community's beautiful drove through it loved it so i'm going to take you on this little tour of this home in the oaks at kelly park it's a beautiful community there i drove through it and saw it and everything really like it so comment below let me know what you think about the Oaks at Kelly Park and this beautiful home in particular.
So what did you think? This beautiful home is located in Apopka, on the north end of Apopka, very close to Mount Dora, which is a charming area in the Orlando area. The homes are built impeccably, and the quality with Toll Brothers is always exceptional. So if you have any other um, questions about this neighborhood, this Oaks at Kelly Park neighborhood, please don't hesitate to reach out. Be sure to smash that like button and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.